Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. So you hit receiver button, and then you can turn it off by hitting that button. And then hit receiver, and then turn it on by hitting that button. Now if you program the remote, you can also turn the cable box on and off. Just like that. And then on. Like that. But you have to hit cable, bo um, cable button first. But to control the receiver, you have to always hit the receiver button. All right, now you're just going to set up. You hit set up, and it pulls up this menu right here. Once you put up, you want to go speaker settings, just like that. I'm basically using this. And we have our setup is right here. So we got no outside speaker, so powered zone two, we're going to put no act because we don't have any outside pool patio speakers connected. Front right speaker, I'll set normal, because we don't have a bi amp for that. So we're gonna set that normal, because we just have regular speakers going straight into it. All right, and then hit return, and then go down to speaker configuration, all right, subwoofer, we do have a subwoofer right there. And front speakers, we have that set up right there. Center speaker, got that. Surround speakers. Front wide speakers, we do not have. Front high speakers, we do have. So front high speakers, we're gonna put that and turn those on. See how I go right turn those on back speakers we don't have any back speakers actually um, so we're gonna set that to off no they're gone and that's pretty much how this setup is looks in this room just like that so you want to hit return to get out of that and then that's, you could do level calibration. So let's go ahead, sit on the couch. And I have to turn that on, I guess. So I have to activate that one. We only have one sub, so I have to adjust that. The volume. There's a volume knob in the back of the subwoofer. So what you want to do is, see there's a volume knob? You want to set it so it's balanced with the other speakers. Alright, you should really have a Y adapter, but for now, or right now, we got it connected just like this. And then I have set this to auto. So when the receiver's turned on, the sub will be turned on. When the receiver is turned off, the sub will be turned off. That's the auto just like that you can do speed um, another way to balance it is also through here feet distance right here left it's about 12 feet front left 12 feet center 12 feet uh, front and it's about like 12 feet the right speaker surround right is actually um, 7 feet and then seven feet and then 12 feet so now after you um set all those settings with the how far away the speakers are from your couch you can get out of that just right here but the fastest way to do it is if you have a microphone you plug in the microphone and it automatically toggles it you don't even have to enter anything as soon as you plug in the microphone you want to set that microphone right where you normally sit on the couch and then it'll go through a um, calibration wizard it's really easy to use I have it in my other video showing you. I don't have the microphone with me today. So you want to get out of that. Well, actually, uh, one more thing. Let's go to hardware setup. And go to HDMI. And now, if you have a Harmony remote, you want to turn that off. 
but if you don't have a Harmony remote, you want to turn that HDMI control on. Because what the Harmony remote does is sends out codes to turn on the receiver with the TV. But if you don't have a Harmony remote, and you want the TV turned on with the restaurants on the receiver, you want to make sure that right there is turned on. So again, if you don't have a Harmony remote, turn that on. And audio TV out, you can set that on. So if you have Netflix on your TV, and you want to listen to your Netflix on your TV app through your surround sound, you want to set that on. But if you have Netflix through your Blu-ray player, you don't have to worry about that because the Blu-ray player is connected straight into the receiver, the DVD input in the receiver, like I showed you earlier. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.